Joining us today for primetime local news is author Edward Willett, who has just released a new novel from DAW, The Tangled Stars. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, Edward. Thank you for having me on. Glad to be able to have you on here because we can kind of help get the word out on this new novel. And, you know, starting off with the easiest question, what exactly is this novel about? So we can just kind of get the backstory on it. <laughs> the Tangled Stars is a far future science fiction adventure. It's a bit of a heist novel, uh, and it features, among other things, a talking AI uplifted cat uh, who becomes a starship captain. So it's also humorous. You might get, <laughs> you might gather that from that description. I suppose a little more of the plot <laughs> uh, set in the far future. Uh, interstellar travel has collapsed. And uh, this uh, kind of con man is my main character, Cooper Douglas, uh, sees an opportunity for this is reopening and that he can take advantage of that. But he has to steal a starship that's back on Earth and stay one step ahead of the bad guy that's chasing him, the kind of uh, organized crime figure that's after him. So that's kind of the basic setup. And then, uh, it's, as I said, it's basically a heist novel where they have to steal this starship with the help of an old uh, lover who's now a cop on the moon and uh, get out of the solar system. <laughs> Well, it definitely sounds interesting. I know the cat lovers here in the Border City are going to really like this one. It sounds like a really good plot. Now, what inspired you to write this? Uh, that's an interesting question. Um, I had, I wanted to write an outer space science fiction novel because my last few things had been a bit different than that. And I suspect I was somewhat influenced by watching The Expanse <laughs> and that kind of uh, outer system uh, kind of thing. And uh, I love cats, and I'd always wanted to have a uh, a cat character, and this seemed like an opportunity to do that because I could see a way to have a talking cat because he basically has an, an artificial intelligence in living inside his brain that makes him this uh, not just an ordinary cat, but he's still very much a cat. So those were kind of the elements. I wanted to write something humorous um, because I just wanted to write something humorous, and so those elements came together, and I I boiled them up in my brain and and came up with this plot. Would you say that compared to your previous work, this is kind of a different idea that you've written for this new novel? It's kind of definitely out of your field, you'd say? Uh, I've never written anything quite like this. Uh, there are elements of it. My last uh, three books, the World Shaper series, uh, all had a first person narrator mixed with some third person viewpoints from other characters and also had a lot of my humor in it. So in a way, this was uh, kind of a consideration, a continuation of that kind of writing. Uh, but uh, set in a completely different kind of a, of a setting. That was more of a fantasy, portal fantasy, going to different, more like fantastical worlds. And this one is very much straight up uh, outer space, uh, old fashioned science fiction adventure. Well, it sounds like it is hilarious. And have you been seeing that good support and good response so far since the release? Uh, people seem to really like the cat, which is what I was hoping for. Uh, cat lovers do like it. Uh, I uh, Every chapter starts with a little bit of cat wisdom uh, from his personal uh, log. And I actually put all those out one at a time uh, on my uh, Twitter feed and other uh, social media. Out, and people really seem to enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I've had really good support from DAW uh, in that regard. And they were retweeting a lot of that. So, yeah, I've been I've been pleased. The reviews uh, that I've seen have been good. It's a little different for me because it's only out in ebook and audiobook. It's not out in print, which is kind of a new thing in the publishing world. But uh, uh, it, it's there and I hope people will, will look for it and enjoy it when they find it. Well, it doesn't surprise me that you are seeing that good response so far, especially like I was saying with having those cat lovers out there and you got a very interesting plot involved with it as well. Would you say that you might continue this into a series now that you've seen that response? It's very much intended to start a series and I have uh, sent a proposal for the second book to DAW, so we'll wait and see. It'll be up to them whether they want to continue the series or not. The book does stand alone, but it, it's very open-ended uh, at the end, and you can tell that there are more adventures to be had. I don't know that I'd bring in any other animals. The The premise for why this cat is the way he is, he's kind of a one-off, uh, not to mention a highly illegal construct uh, construction, uh, and that ties into the second book and the whole overarching story, which involves artificial intelligence and and humans and how we will interact with the AI in the future. Um, but yeah, I definitely hope that I will be writing more books in this series. Perfect, Edward. It was really nice chatting with you today. And for everyone watching, make sure to go check out his new novel. And once again, thank you so much for joining us today, Edward. Thank you.